All right, so this is for students, so you can understand how you are to upload your performance video into Flipgrid. It's pretty simple. Uh, Flipgrid itself is a in-house process, so you don't have to record externally and then try to upload it. It will record you in uh, its actual um, housed in its own unit. So you just need to make sure that you do the submission. So this is what we do. You go to uh, flipgrid.com and you click on to your login. And this is where you're going to log in with your credentials. Once you've put your credentials in, um, then you are good to go. You want to then click on your performing arts at KCC, which is what you're going to actually do. And then you want to click on the, I'm going to do the member view so you can see what it looks like. Okay. So when you click on uh, the uh, performing arts at KCC, you're going to see a, a place that looks like this. And where it says add video, you want to do your end of ju uh, semester jury recordings. Now there's two boxes. This one here is the music jury test recording link. So this is if you kind of wanted to test it out before you do it for real. But this is not where you put your final performance video because that's not going to be graded. I'm not going to grade it. That's more for you. And then if you want to send a link to your teacher so he or she can then give you some feedback on it, um, that's for them. But this is what you need to do here. End of semester jury recording. You're going to click add a video. And once you do that, this box is going to pop up. And then you should see, uh, you know, you can either import a video that you already have or you can retry the camera itself. So uh, because I'm actively using the camera, it's not going to allow me to use the camera in this because it's actually streaming me so you can see me while I'm talking you through this process. But I would click on that usually and then the camera would come up. But because it doesn't, I'm going to do import a video. So this is where I can actually drop a video file in from my computer. So if I created a video externally um, on my cell phone or something and I loaded it up on my computer, this is where I would put it. So for example, let's just randomly take something. I'm looking for something short uh, that's fairly easy to um, upload. Yeah, let's go with, let's do the Bach organ piece. And you click that. And of course, it's playing the music from that. Once I've uploaded the video, then I want to make sure I hit next. When you hit next, um, it says submit your video uh, and then your name will be listed here because you'll have an account. Um, you can opt to select the video uh, frame from the video or you can take a selfie. Um, some people prefer to take selfies, you know, so that way we can see your face. I would encourage you to do that. Then we can see exactly who's singing. So I would take the selfie option. But once again, I can't do that from here because I'm using my video camera so you can see me talk to you uh, through this process. Another option is you can upload a video or not a video, a photo. Um, so let's just say we're going to use this photo here and it, let's say if that was a photo of me. Then you would hit confirm and then you got to hit confirm again and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to put in any description and in the description I want you to list the pieces that you've performed. So that's what you're going to say. Um, uh, Bach uh, two-part invention number one, you know. And then the second piece, um, you know, if, if there's a second piece, you can, you know, put that in there. But the real important thing is make sure that you have submitted to me your actual um, jury form. That's the form that you had to print off, fill out, and then scan and email to me. Okay, so make sure that you do that. Next year, hopefully it's starting in January, I'll have a Google form that you can just fill out right online and you won't have to print it off and fill it out and then, you know, do that extra step. But for right now, that's what I need you to do. So make sure you get that to me 
uh, before Friday. And then once you've put the title in, uh, you hit submit and you'll see it's uploading it and you can hit done or you can create a QR code, you can download the video, again you can download another cover image, but this one here, share link. If you want to share the link with your teacher, you can click share link and do that. And then you hit done and you have submitted your video officially and that's how the process works. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thank you very much and I wish you much luck. Take care.